What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, where we continue our in-depth, step-by-step analysis on how to buy Bitcoin on the beautiful marketplace on BISC Network. Uh, peers, we have already we've uh, installed the software. Uh, we have uh, kicked out all the shit coins from the, in the settings. Uh, we have set up the accounts. We made an offer. We took the offer. And now we are going to complete the trade with the euro of payment uh, and the releasing of the funds into the individual wallets of Satoshi and Helfin. So we will share the screen again because now after one block confirmation, the attention is required by Halfini himself because the trade has reached at least one block confirmation, uh, which is of course a sign that miners agree that this transaction is a valid one and that they have included it at least in one block. Although more accumulated proof of work, roughly six confirmations would be nice. Uh, we're going to be a little bit reckless and take the one confirmation. Uh, and this means that Halfini now, uh, please, has to pay 30 euros uh, to the account of Satoshi Nakamoto himself with this fake IBAN at this fake bank. And um, important here is to not forget the trade identity, K7Z and so on, uh, in the reason of payment. Also, very, very important, do not use any additional notice in the reason for payment text like Bitcoin, BTC, or BISC. Why? Because you're being spied upon with every single transaction that you make in these fiat shitcoin bank accounts. Uh, and there are a bunch of employees working at these banks who make sure uh, to make your life uh, <laughs> this much more inconvenient every time that you even speak the word Bitcoin, let alone make a Euro shitcoin payment uh, with the word Bitcoin in the reason for payment. So please just send 30 bucks to this name, to this IBAN account with this trade ID. Don't put anything else in there because again, it's not your bank account, it's theirs. And they don't like uh, that you use free and liberating um, currencies like Bitcoin and especially free and liberating marketplaces like BISC. So uh, again, this is important. So only this here in the reason of payment, uh, you can easily copy and paste this uh, in your banking app. And let's assume that Halfini has done this now, right? And he will then press that he has initiated the euro payment. Because it's a shitcoin, it will take a couple of days until the funds get there. Uh, and they might be reversible, but rather tricky uh, with SEPA. Uh, so let's just assume he's a nice guy. He has actually done this. And he upholds the private contract uh, that he has agreed upon. Uh, so he will press payment send. And again, no bullshit zone. Okay? So only press, yes, I have started the payment, if you have actually done that. If not, you are lying. And that is theft or at least attempted theft, quite difficult to actually steal funds on BISC. If, I even think it's not even possible. That they, or, well, it has not happened yet. Um, but anyhow, let's continue. Yes, we have sent the payment. And as soon, like, do you see how fast this goes? Okay, this is on the same machine, but uh, different Tor identities. Uh, so it is routed completely end-to-end -end encrypted here uh, to this receiver uh, or to Satoshi himself, who again, attention required. Uh, and the trading partner has confirmed that he has initiated the euro payment uh, of 30 euros in your bank account with the tra uh, trade ID right in here. Verify, don't trust, uh, that this bank transfer has actually occurred, right? And if so, again, here are all the details uh, from the SEPA account owner or uh, to the SEPA account owner of Satoshi Nakamoto uh, with this reason for payment, 30 bucks. And let's assume Satoshi goes into his shitcoin uh, bank account and sees that Halfini has actually made uh, this euro transfer. Then he can confirm that he has received the payment. Again, no bullshit So Be careful here really verify that you have received 30 euros with this trade ID uh, and by this sender name. Probably even wait one or two days uh, so that you are certain that the transfer is not going to be reversed. Because again, the euro is a shitcoin and it's easy, rather easy, to uh, reverse these transactions, especially if you know the bankers working there. They can, <laughs> they can reverse even six-month-old transactions. So um, no issue for these people. Okay, so let's just assume that yes, we have received the payment uh, and then we press yes 
And tada, BISC is ready. We see here that on both clients now it says trade complete. You can withdraw the funds now to your external Bitcoin wallet. And uh, so what has happened here? We have now uh, released the fund, or now we have the signature of both uh, Satoshi and Halfini to remove the funds out of the two out of three uh, multi-signature wallet. And there are two different options that you can use here. Either you re remove the funds out of the multi-sig into the BISC wallet, uh, that is a hot wallet here on this trading platform, uh, which would be convenient if you want to continuously trade and use these 0 0.01 Bitcoin uh, that Satoshi, uh, that Halfini here has, uh, which is the amount that he bought plus the security deposit. Uh, so he can either move this onto his hot wallet for future trade or an external wallet which might again be a hot wallet, like for example, Wasabi wallet, which we will look in depth in the upcoming videos, um, or maybe his cold storage, right, a paper wallet. Uh, but honestly, because this is somewhat even still tied to your name, at least Satoshi knows Halfini's name and bank account, uh, plus the address, of course, it would make sense to do a couple coin join rounds just to be extra sure uh, that you can protect your privacy. Uh, so um, let's assume that uh, Hal Finney would like to do some further trades on the BISC platform because he has seen how convenient, how easy the platform is. And he's hooked. <laughs> We've hooked him with this testnet transaction and he, he really wants to do a couple more and tell all his friends. <laughs> so let's assume that he has now, uh, com congratulations, like he has completed the trade. And uh, they would love to hear a feedback survey, which we'll do in just a second. Um, same with uh, Satoshi. Why does he still have funds to withdraw? Well, his security deposit of 30%, the 0 0.003 Bitcoin, the 300,000 Satoshis uh, can Satoshi now put into his own wallet, either the external wallet uh, or an internal uh, wallet. Let's just assume he does the internal wallet as well and he gets the same congratulation message uh, to now complete the survey. Uh, which we will continue doing here because you really should uh, should help the community and be active. So you can now, uh, this leads you to an external uh, service. Uh, so be careful, right? This is a still pseudonymous uh, or completely anonymous uh, survey, but it can link to your IP address. So Tor browser uh, is recommended. Uh, we're just going to do um, the, uh, the BISC survey here in Firefox. Uh, by the way, amazing plugin to black screen everything, which is so cool. <laughs> how did you discover BISC? Um, well, how was it? Uh, let's let's say it was well, it was here the amazing review on the World Crypto Network. Uh, how did you feel if you no longer could use BISC? Well, clearly very disappointed. Why? Because censorship resistance is awesome. Uh, so oh, typing and talking, not easy. I'm not good at multitasking. What would you like to use if there is no alternative for BISC? Uh, well, e either don't, like, don't use any alternative because BISC is the most awesome way. But I mean, if you still are holding on to fiat bags, you really want to get rid of them. Uh, so I personally would either use in-person cast or hodl hodl com, which is a centralized but still peer-to-peer multi-sig, no custodial exchange, uh, which I think is cool. Although I do believe, because of the uh, hardcore censorship resistance, um, is BISC is even still superior to HODL HODL, and HODL HODL is much more superior to something like local Bitcoin or Kraken.com, and miles better than uh, Coinbase. <laughs> Uh, what is the primary benefit uh, that you have received from BISC? Well, honestly, it was an amazing user interface or user experience in general. Uh, we really should learn how to type. Oh, nope. Amazing. Um, user interface, of course, censorship resistance. Uh, well, we have received Bitcoin, of course. And what was else nice? Um, it was fast. It truly was fast. I mean, it was like a couple of videos of five minutes and we've completely finished this trade. It's super, super convenient, to be honest. Have you recommended this to anyone? Oh, yes, um, absolutely. Uh, 
I mean, for me personally, literally everyone, everyone who asks me how to buy Bitcoin, first, BISC, second, HODL, HODL, third, cash in person. Uh, what type of person do you think would benefit from BISC the most? Well, it's clearly uh, privacy, fo privacy and liberty uh, focused, focused uh, Bitcoiners and cypherpunks. Uh, but in general, everyone. Uh, truly, I mean, you've seen how convenient it is. Uh, this truly is a marketplace for everyone. Um, and let's try here first. But also, well, everyone, right? How could you improve a BISC and what would, do you think makes it better? What do you think? What is better? This or this? This or this? Clearly, a dark mode is always better. <laughs> dark mode and maybe lightning multi-sig if possible i mean that will be cool having instant zero confirmation uh, transactions would be dope uh, but i know that it's really difficult and we need to do a much more research and development for that um, would it be okay to follow up with any email uh, to request clarification uh, well, because I think all these points are rather clear and because I do not want to dox my email address, which again, realize that we have not used our email address uh, in this exchange whatsoever. So I'm not going to start here. <laughs> and let's submit the survey. And that's it. So uh, you see the survey is easy. Uh, and please be part of the community and uh, do this survey in general. And now see wide interface. Ah, dark mode everything. <laughs> And congratulations, um, the withdrawal is also complete. And we see now uh, that this trade is completely completed. Well, completely completed. <laughs> and if we go into the funds, we see that Helfini has this address, which is a single signature, which already has one confirmation. Uh, and this is used, right? But it still has the one sig. And a couple unused changed addresses, which he could still use. Uh, same for Satoshi. Right, he has now um, a couple transactions used in the multi-sig, and and in, that was the uh, that was the uh, well the initial uh, the initial uh, deposit that was the multi-sig, and then this here uh, was his current balance uh, of the security deposit. And peers, that's pretty much it. Like we we're done. <laughs> that's how easy you can install BISC. You can set up your account. You can throw out all the shit coins. <laughs> you can set up your own buy order. Same for the sell order, by the way. Uh, and that's how you take a order that is already on the marketplace. And that's how you then complete the order. Done. No registration, no KYC, no permission, and no bullshit. I love this. And I hope you realize now how amazing this is. And we're just talking about just about the first method of how to buy Bitcoin. And that's not all for BISC. So in the upcoming videos, we're going to talk much more about uh, the Arbitrator and the BISC DAO and all the different uh, models that are involved here. Piers, thank you very much for joining. Please be active in the community. And if you have questions, ask them and use BISC and absolutely buy Bitcoin.